Hey, it's Jesus from Low Code, and today I was trying out this tool, this platform called Audio Pen, that allows you to record yourself speaking, and then it summarizes your recording into text, and then you can add tags and save it and stuff like that. So I thought, why not build this with no code in Glide? So I just set up here a new project in Glide. I'm using, as you can see here, my data is, I'm using Glide tables, and this is a blank screen. Actually, what I'll do is I'll delete this screens, and I hope this is not boring, but I'll do this live. <clears throat> so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna set up my database structure. So basically we have use, the users table here, and then what I'll do in order to make it easier, I'll use the same table for the home screen. So basically what we want on this screen is something similar to this. I want a recording button, and then I'll see the text that I generate, and then I'll be able to see save these things and, and store them. <coughs> so in order to do that, I'll have here, let's do, so this will be the link to recording. This will be a URL. Then we want to do the transcript. No, let's do template. It will be the prompt, which is the template column. Um, this will get to that in a second. Like the recording and then I want voice to text. This will be speech to text. I'll pause this so that we don't see my API. Okay, done. Audio file and recording. So this is user specific. Yes. And so this one's user specific as well. Cool. Link recording, then we have the prompt, voice to text, and then the template will be summarize this, and this will be the text. Cool. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's go back to our screen. Ah, let's set a screen. Custom screen. I want to be looking at the user's profiles. Obviously, I'm going to filter users here options i only want to be able to see my own row so email e sign in user there we go and then i have a collection new screen let's call it audio penny audio penny there we go and then let's add the for the recording thing, recorder. Okay. New recording. Save to when to recording. And recording. Record saving. That looks good. So let's do a quick recording. Hello, this is a quick test. We're building a glide app that is similar to Audio Pen that allows users to record. A voice note, convert that to text, and save those notes. There we go. So let's look at our data here. Okay, so we have here, let's do text component will be, I don't know, let's see, regular. We'll add this to this thing. Okay, that looks good. So that is my recording, and I want another one just for now. And I'll point these to the template. Yeah, this is not what I want. Summarize this. Okay, so basically I need an open AI integration. Summarize text. Prompt is my template column. Then let's point this text component to my summary. There we go. Cool, we can make the prompt better later. Okay, then I wanna have a few buttons like this, trash, copy, and save. So let's add a button bar, button block here. I hope we can add three buttons, perfect, okay. So this one will be delete. Let's see if we can find a trash can here, trash, and here. Trash, 
There we go. Let's almost get the delete. Maybe we just have something like this. That looks good. Okay, and then we'll use set column values on this row and basically want to clear values for the link to recording, which is this column. And then when I do that, the three other columns to the right will be cleared or cleaned as well. You can trash this. Then the second button will be copy this text. So let's do copy no tile and then clipboard, I think. Copy to clipboard. And I want the um, summarize. Yes. If I do this. And then the third one will be safe. 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 Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name of this icon. It's like a disk. Young people will have no idea what this is. So let's do this one maybe. That looks weird. I don't really like it. <clears throat> and then in this case, what we want is create a new row in another table. So let's go to our table here. And let's add a new table, new table, and I'll name this saved notes, notes from audio penny. Cool. And then I'll add a bunch of columns. We'll have an owner. So that'll be the email address of whoever is creating email, the note, then I want a timestamp because I like timestamps. So this will be a date and time, date and time in about seconds. And then one, two, I think that's good enough. Then we have a name. We don't want the audio recording, we just want the note. Right, so this will be the note. And then let's do something visual. So what I call a glide generated image. Glide other yeah other image image from color oh i think we didn't get that generate image my bad and then triangles and we'll do the note and then we want a row id a row id there we go cool i think this is enough maybe so let's to this third button, I want to do an action just in case. So create new action. When the user clicks this button, then it'll create a new row. No, so add row. On the save notes table, the note will be the summary. The owner will be the user's email address. So user's email address and the timestamp will be current date and time. That's good. And then let's add a notification, a success notification, and then name it, add new row, close. Ah, and then I missed something. When I save it, I want to clean these values so that, can I can, so that I can do the next one. So add row, that's what I created a custom action. Add one, let's do set column value. In this item, so I'm still in the users table in my own row. And I want to clean this or clear this value, right? And then show the notification. That looks good. So let's do that. Hmm. Why is this not being cleaned up? Hmm. I'll fix this in a sec. Then I want to add a list. What happens when I add it here? Okay, so I get it here as a little card. That was good. So let's add something similar. So let's do a container here. And then let's add a collection cards. And I'll point this to the save notes table. And visibility conditions. No, actually, let's look at this one. On um, since I'm looking at the collection of that table, I want to add a filter 
so that I only so that I only can see my own node. So owner is signed user. That looks good. And then let's go back to the collection. Title, timestamp, description, image. Oh, let's. Mm -hmm. This looks better, I think. Oh, meta, we have a little image. And let's do save notes. Notes. And then we have to clean up that screen. Edit. I don't want to edit button. So here in actions, so I'll turn these two off. Then when I click on a note, let's do something like this. Title. Title, I want the timestamp. No subtitle. Image, I use glides. And then I have text component that points to my note. Maybe let's do a rich text so that I don't remember if rich text has actions. Options, actions, yeah, there we go. Rich text will point to the no, note. Actions, let's do clipboard. Come to clipboard, data, note, yeah. I don't know why there's no pop up or anything. Anyway, save notes, cool, I have a search. Let's format the date of the timestamp just because it can look better. So it's a date. Where's that other date? Format date. So let's call it format date. Date is timestamp. And then format. This is the one I want. Date and time. Oh, time. Date is timestamp. Five minutes ago, that looks good. Format date. Cool. So let's do that here. Tile format date. I click on that and let's add it here. There we go. Add image. Cool. Okay, so look. There we have save notes. I'm not counting. I have my note here. If I click on it, we could add tags. In this case, what happens? Oh, it's a prime feature. Okay, cool. Now, let's add the search bar here, action. Oh, looks good. Okay, and then just let's fix this thing. That is, it is summarizing this weird text edit. I don't think that we might need the template column. Let's try it. Summarize. Voice to text. There, empty. Good. And then for some reason, these buttons are showing up. Ah, okay. So if we want to have a visibility condition, show component when the link to recording is an empty. Right? So we have something like this. Let's add some space. Let's see another thing. Separator here. A large one. And then maybe instead of save notes as the list title, add a header here, saved notes. That looks better, my search, cool. Okay, so let's try it again. After recording for 18 minutes, we have been able to build a no-code app that converts and summarizes voice notes into text notes. Come on, let's see. There we go. I'm recording for 18 minutes. That is my voice note. And then this text describes the development of app. Cool, that looks good. So I don't know if this makes sense. Maybe I just delete this. And then I can either copy to my clipboard. If I click delete, there we go. Let's do it again. We are discussing the idea of building an app that creates audio recordings. So this is a subscription-based app built with no code that will cost $5.99 a month that allows users to store and record up to 100 voice notes. 
that are converted to text notes when interacting with the app. Probably I don't want the buttons to show up until we have the summarize, summary text. So let's configure this options when summary is not empty. That looks better. There we go. So let's save it. There we go. Let's reorder this options the other way around just now. Cool. 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 I can see the original. Ah, that's a good idea. So I can see the original transcript and the summary. So let's add that as well. That's a good idea. So let's go over here to data. And then on my save notes, I have my summary here, but let's say original script. It's a text column. And then on my actions, in this action week, when it's adding a row, I also want to send to this row the transcript. We could even send the we can send the link to the recording if we want to. We just need to add a column here, link to recording. And this is a URL. So let's go back to my actions, add row, link to recording. I'll send the link. And then we also have to clear. Ah, oh, we don't have to clear anything. Cool. All right. So let's do another one. Word. Okay, so we are recording another voice note. We're almost done with our Audio Penny app that allows users to record themselves and create a summary and a transcript of their recordings. We should have like a wait action here. Yeah, let's, I'll add that. Bam, bam. There we go. I'll save this. And I'll click here, and then let's do, what was the name, headline? Headline. So these will be the summary, headline small probably. Mm -hmm. Then I'll just duplicate this, transcript, transcript. And then let's point this to the original transcript. And then we have the audio player that will play the recording. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. And I want to add something else. So if the recording, like a waiting thingy, let's wait, wait. this one. Oh, copy image address. Back to glide. Let's add an image here, which is right under the audio component. Image from URL. Let's see if it works. This many text. This much text. Okay. And then let's add like a headline or something here. Give me a second. And then options, visibility when link to recording is not empty and summarize is empty. Link to recording is not empty. So we have a recording, but it, the, summar, the summary hasn't been created, similar image. Options when link to recording is not empty and summary is empty. Okay, final test. Okay, so final test for the Audio Penny app. We're almost done, 25 minutes in. We should be done in less than five minutes. So in 30 minutes, we rebuild an app that looks very similar to this one. So it's saving, give me a second. Good, good. Or just painting app. I'll say this as well. Sweet. Maybe. Okay, so 25 minutes, that's enough. We could <laughs> we could add tags. We could 
what else do we have here? We could convert this into a SAS and do payment limited by tokens, by amount of nodes. Obviously, what I have to work on is the summarizing feature. So that will just be, in this case, I'm using the summarize, let's say, plugin between Cloud and OpenAI. But maybe I would have to build a prompt that works better and that has clearer instructions of how to summarize my voice note in order to create a better note, right? So almost done. I'll click here and publish. I'll change the link later so that you don't use all of my tokens. Anyway, right now, my Glide page will be private. By default, Glide changed those settings. So here in privacy settings, only users in this table, the app has been published. So let's domain, do I have that? I probably have to, what do I have? My personal email. Let's go to settings. Let's change this. Audio, voice, AI, robot. And then let's do a little audio page, non appearance. Let's do the orange. And then on integrations, I'm already using OpenAI. Privacy settings, private only users in this table, user authentication. I always want to use Google, sign screen, nothing fancy here, nothing fancy here. Cool. So that's it. Hope you liked it. If you want to learn more about what we do, how we do it, go to Locator Agency and you'll be able to find dozens of apps that we've built. We can build an app for you. Probably it'll take more than 29 minutes. We go very custom, we build very custom solutions for businesses. So get in touch with us, click here the free discovery call, and we'll be able to build an app for you in a couple of weeks, starting at $7,000. Thanks for watching. Bye.